What's up, beautiful people? I'm excited to take you behind the scenes of what I eat in the day to lose weight. If you're not following my journey already, basically I've struggled with my weight my whole life and finally decided enough's enough. So a month ago, I hired a trainer, a nutritionist, who put me on a new workout, eating, and supplement regimen that has really been working for me. As of my way in today, I've dropped 20 pounds of pure fat while gaining 5 pounds of pure muscle. Since having that Thor bod is basically my goal, not dad bod Thor, but like Thor Thor, I have a long way to go. But as a husband and dad of 7 kids, I decided to drop all the excuses and just go for it. I want to be healthy for my family and really be here for the long haul. And I really want to be healthy for me and feel better about the guy staring me down in the mirror every single day. So for starters, I'm eating 2,757 calories a day. That sounds like a ton, and it is, especially when you're not wasting a single calorie. I'm working out like crazy and need to put on muscle, not lose it. So of those calories, I need 243 grams of protein, 138 carbs, of which 40 need to be fiber, and then 137 grams of fat. This can be much harder than it sounds to hit these goals, but it's a lot of lean protein and a lot of cooking to meal prep. As a dad of seven, I have a really busy life, so if I fail to plan, I am basically planning to fail, but I'm not giving myself any excuses. So to start my day around 7 a.m., I drink a vegan protein shake with creatine and HMB to get my body really running on all cylinders for my workout. I do this right before my workout and right after, giving me 40 grams of quick access protein. I use a variety of proteins, but right now I'm really loving this Red Con Green Beret with peanut butter flavor. Doesn't have all the same weird aftertaste as some. I get home, take a shower, and then usually cook something hot for my first breakfast meal of the day around 11.45. We homeschool and the kids are usually starting to get going with everything, so I'll wait until the kitchen clears out and try my best to not smoke everything up. Today I'm doing a six ounce salmon filet with the skin off half a cup of cooked black beans, two fried eggs, and about a cup of spinach with a cup of mushrooms. I cook with avocado oil because it has a higher burning point than olive oil and keep things pretty simple with the salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Nothing crazy, but still so flavorful, and just under 600 calories for the meal, I'm getting 57 grams of protein, 39 grams of fat, and 25.2 good slow carbs, including 9.6 grams of fiber for my body which is pretty amazing. About two hours later, I'm trying to get more protein and more fiber in, and I won't go into this whole recipe a ton because I did a whole video on it last week, which I will link right here. Uh, but basically, this Chia Greek yogurt only has about 330 calories, but it's packed with 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber, so that is a pretty major win in my book. Normally, I would add some blueberries, but my five-year-old Lincoln jacked the container I bought yesterday and ate the entire thing while I wasn't looking, so vanilla will have to do. As I said, I have a pretty active lifestyle, so I'm out and about a lot and need to make sure I plan for this because, again, I fail to plan, I plan to fail. So I meal prep about half my meals each week and keep them in these cool little partition containers to take with me. This 8 ounces of grilled chicken, cup of zucchini, and a small baked sweet potato packs 57 grams of protein, 21 carbs, and 4 grams of fiber. Not bad. Then I am usually getting out of a meeting around traffic time and don't quite know how long it'll take me to get home, so I make sure to take a quick protein shake with me. I'm loving this Garden of Life one right now. It tastes great and it's super easy to get that protein my body needs. For dinner, I usually like to go a little more fancy, and I am a steak guy. But not all steak is created equal, so while I'm more of a ribeye person, they tend to be pretty fatty and much higher in calories. Sirloin, on the other hand, is super lean. 
So I'll cook mine medium rare and a couple extras that I can either use for meal prep or eat a little fancy something something with my fam for dinner. And depending on what everyone is doing that night, it can be pretty amazing to do that together. Throw another sweet potato in there and some asparagus and you've got yourself a balanced dinner that you actually really enjoy. So this wasn't the perfect day for hitting all my macros, but I got pretty dang close. I had 2,740 calories, 250 grams of protein, 123 carbs, of which 37 were fiber, and 141 grams of fat. And I do this pretty much every day, with the exception of cheat meal once a week, which you guys keep telling me I need to call it my treat meal, and I like that. So what about you guys? What are you eating to drop the pounds or pack on the muscle? What are your goals? What are your superfoods? Make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a like. It would mean the whole world to me. See you guys next time. For your namesake.